when Volkswagen first took over mm. Skoda, and of course people knew Seat as the, mm. the Fiat's other yes. half, and yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Fiat 131s that yes. were remodeled as Seat's, yeah. they were then the sporty arm of VW. Mm. Skoda was the accessible, affordable arm, with yes. VW doing the dependable and, the, and mm. Audi doing the premium. Yes. Have they merged a little bit? Because Skoda seems to span mm. right up to prestige now when you look at the Superb and the, yeah. the kit levels. And of course, you know, that's going to continue. I mean, what's happened with the Skoda range of the Skoda brand is, is that its growth has come not just from selling more of the cars that we sell in each segment, but we're covering much more of the segments. So I think, I forget the exact mass, but about 83% of all cars sold, we have a car in that segment, whereas we didn't used to have. So our range has widened massively, and that only continues. Um, in the new year, we have a, a new SUV coming called Kodiak. That checks into a segment we've never been in. Um, you know, and, and you know, we're going to be having versions of Kodiak which will go all the way up to about forty thousand pounds. So, a much wider range. But you can't do that overnight. You have to build your brand value. You can't. You know, however good the car is, you can't suddenly launch a have a, a car with the engine in the boot that costs you know two grand. Then suddenly come out with a fantastic car that's forty grand because you know people's. Uh, sort of the value of the brand hasn't moved, so it's been done over time. But when we launch Code Kodiak in, uh, in New Year, you know that will, that, that product's going to be massively successful. I, I know I'm, I'm biased, but you know I've seen the car; it is going to be a uh, going to be a fantastic seller for the brand. And of course, we're in Yorkshire. We live in yeah. places where people quite like four-wheel drives and off-roaders. Yes, yes. Although and I suppose like, you can get two-wheel drive versions of it. You can, and uh, but the other thing about uh, living in Yorkshire, we all like value, and uh, <laughs> yeah. and uh, that's the good thing that we both both go around say at, represent fantastic value. And As a Yorkshireman, I do have to say that's your Scottish roots coming out. <laughs> well, I'm the bad combination. So I'm half Yorkshire, half Scottish. So you know that's uh, you know short arms, long pockets. <laughs> Yeah, my dad's from Campbelltown in Scotland, so I guess it sort of means that I'm, I'm the same, but... Well, yeah, you'll understand um, then. Mine, 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 <laughs> yeah, okay.